In order to replace the clutch cable on a standard BCS tractor, you will need a 13mm wrench, two 10mm wrenches or socket, an 8mm socket, pliers, spray lubricant, and a new clutch cable. To determine the correct part number for your clutch cable, please refer to Service Bulletin 29 or 210, depending on the age of your tractor. Look for links to these in the description below. Step 1 is to remove, if present, both the upper and lower steering column covers, and using the two 10mm wrenches or socket, unbolt the bracket below to access the lower end of the cable underneath. Next, while holding the end of the inner cable with pliers, use your 8mm socket to loosen the small bolt that locks the cable stop. Remove the cable stop and set it aside. Remove the outer cable from its bottom receiver, setting aside the ferrule. This will create free play in the inner cable. Then, at the clutch lever, use this free play to push the bullet end of the cable out of its seat in the barrel of the lever assembly. Notice the slit in the side of the barrel. Align this slit with the cable and remove the barrel. You can now easily pull and remove the inner cable from its outer sheath. But before removing and discarding the sheath, pay close attention to the routing of the sheath from the clutch lever to the receiver at the base of the steering column. Depending on your tractor model, the routing may vary from that of our demonstrator unit. After removing the sheath, use your 13mm wrench to loosen the jam nut on the adjusting tube and turn the tube sufficiently outward until there is about a half an inch of thread showing beyond the bracket. Then, tighten the jam nut. To install your new cable, start by removing the inner cable from its outer sheath, and, being careful not to bend it too sharply, route the sheath through the steering column along the same path as the one you just removed. Then spray a bit of lubricant into the sheath. Next, feed the non-bullet end of the inner cable through the lever and adjusting tube, leaving enough cable on the operator's side to reinstall the barrel. Check to make sure that the recessed end of the barrel is facing the operator's side, before sliding the barrel into its slot in the clutch lever with the cable through the center. Continue pulling the inner cable through until you have the bullet end of the cable fully seated in the barrel. Then pass the inner cable through the sheath until the sheath end can slip inside the adjusting tube. At the other end, slide the ferrule over the inner cable, which you will then need to pass through the hole in the bracket, guide around the pulley, and out through the other hole in the bracket. Once the sheath ferrule slots into its bracket hole, slide the cable stop onto the inner cable. Use the pliers to pull the cable just tightly enough to remove loose slack from the cable, but do not over tighten. Secure the cable by sliding the cable stop against the bracket and tightening the bolt with your 8mm socket.
Now replace the bracket and upper and lower steering column covers. And finally, follow the standard procedure for adjusting the clutch cable for proper operation. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel for more. Also, please know that we welcome your feedback and questions. To contact us about the content of this video, please call 855-832-4505 or email info at bcsamerica.com. Thank you.